Hi, I am Ariel Taf from Cloud Reviews and today I am going to show you how to install SugarSync's desktop application onto your computers. The reason why we are doing this is because some of the users find it really hard to get onto SugarSync's free subscription account that promises 5 GB of storage. Even if you go onto the Try It Free button on SugarSync's website, you can clearly see that there are paid packages displayed over there but not the free 5 GB account. However, if you scroll down, you will see that there is a limited plan 5GB written in small letters beneath the paid packages. Now if you click onto the 5GB button, only then you will be redirected to a page that will allow you to download the desktop application. I will commence the download by clicking the download now button beneath the title of get a 5GB plan for free. Now. The desktop application of SugarSync will detect my existing operating system on the computer and as it's Windows, I will just carry on with the download. However, if you have a Mac version of computer, you can get the Mac version of desktop application by clicking the need the Mac version. I will commence the download now by clicking the download now button beneath the Windows. Now, the download will start. But as is it's a very lengthy process, I will just carry on with the installation process as I have already downloaded SugarSync's desktop application setup onto my computer. This is the installation process of SugarSync's desktop application. The installation is going to take a minute or two and then I will be able to see the desktop application running onto my computer. With this, the installation of SugarSync's desktop application is complete. Now, SugarSync will give me an opportunity to sign up as a new user or if I am an existing customer, I can log in by putting in my credentials. First, I will show you how you can sign up for a new account on SugarSync. There are certain fields that you would have to fill in to, in order to get the free subscription account. Here, you will type in your first name, then your last name, then your email address, then you would have to confirm your email address and finally your password. As I am an existing customer of SugarSync, I will just back and provide in my credentials to log in as an existing customer of SugarSync. I will put in my email address first. And then my password. The process for getting on to SugarSync's desktop application is same for both an existing customer or a new user. As I have again downloaded the SugarSync's desktop application onto my computer, SugarSync will provide me with the same options as it, it would provide to a new customer. Here, I can choose the 60 GB plan, the 100 GB plan and the 250 GB plan for 30 days as a, on a trial period. But as SugarSync promises the 5 GB of storage capacity totally free and forever, I will just carry on with the 5 GB subscription and click next. Now, SugarSync will give me an opportunity to continue my synchronization if I have left it for some reasons previously. I will just say no and carry on. Now, SugarSync will give me an opportunity to name my computer. This process is vital because if I have more than one devices installed with SugarSync's desktop application, then I would know that from which computer have I uploaded a single file onto SugarSync's cloud network. I will name my computer as my laptop. Now, SugarSync will take me to a three-step tutorial for understanding the functionality of its desktop application. I will skip this part. And now, this is the first time any user will see the desktop application working on his or her computer. This is basically the new version of SugarSync's desktop application. Now, it has a more alluring graphics and there is also the ability to drag and drop your files so that they could be synchronized to SugarSync's cloud network. This part 
of Sugar Singh's desktop application was previously unavailable, but now as it is here, it provides more ease to users to upload their files onto Sugar Singh's cloud. At the moment, Sugar Singh has four menus on its navigation bar. These options are providing specific purposes to the users. For example, the cloud option allows users to see what are those files that have yet been uploaded onto their cloud network. The sharing menu allows users to share their files and folders with the users. The users can put in their contacts name and directly share their files with them. The activity menu allows users what they have been doing lately with their SugarSync's cloud network. If they have uploaded any file or have done any revision, the activity menu will display these things or a desktop application right in front of you. The search option lets users find any specific file which they might have uploaded to the cloud but for some reason have forgotten where it is. Being the basics of SugarSync's desktop application, I will tell users how they can upload any file or folder onto SugarSync's cloud network. There are basically three ways a user can upload a file onto SugarSync's cloud. First, by right clicking the folder and directly going to the SugarSync menu that will be added to the system's core after you have installed SugarSync's cloud onto your computer. Here users can share the file or add the file to SugarSync's cloud network. The second way is by dragging the file and placing it at the drag and drop menu provided by SugarSync's desktop application over here. The third way is by clicking SugarSync at the top left of SugarSync's desktop application menu and clicking add folder to SugarSync. Here users can browse the file placed in any partition of their computer, select it by checking it and then placing it at SugarSync's cloud network. I will use this method for now. I am going to place my playlist on the SugarSync's cloud by clicking the add button. In a few minutes, my files will be uploaded to SugarSync's cloud network. As I have uploaded my playlist on SugarSync's cloud, I can check it by going to the cloud option and seeing whether the file has been uploaded and synced to my computer. The second way of checking the file whether it is uploaded or not is by going to SugarSync's website and signing in as a user. As you would have made your ID, you can log in by putting in your credentials. I will put in my credentials over here and see if my files have been uploaded or not. After logging in, SugarSync will show me what has been going around in my cloud space. As, it, as I mentioned that I uploaded my playlist into SugarSync's cloud, I can see that the file has been uploaded and I can click on it and browse through its components over here as well. This is it from the video tutorial of SugarSync's desktop application. Hope you would have been of assistance to you in providing you with the basic knowledge of how to install SugarSync's desktop application and going around with by uploading the files onto its cloud network. Thank you.